Hey everyone, it's Christina, Nomad Xtina, coming to you from beautiful Tacopa, California. And yes, that's a joke. Tacopa isn't even a town. I would call it a settlement or a hamlet just a few miles from Death Valley. So it is harsh desert, lots of dirt, but it is home to hot springs. I booked myself a glamping canyon at the Tacopa Hot Springs Campground and Pools. Anyway, you can car camp here. You can sleep in your car. I asked the guy. It would be a lot cheaper. The little cabin, in quotes, that I booked is $100 plus tax. It's about $110. I got it because it was my birthday yesterday. I spent a week car camping. Yesterday, I had a very cold night in Level Canyon with somebody parked right in front of me. Um, aside from that, it was a great day. I decided to treat myself. So let's take a look at my little cabin. So there are actually two little cabins, the one with the blue door and the one with the green door. And the one with the green door and all the stuff in front of it is mine. It does have a ramp, it's a little narrow, but I think a wheelchair, as long as it's not too wide, should be able to get up there. Ah, oops, just banged my hip. Drove a room with a little desk, air conditioner. This one has a queen bed, little bedside table, and a space heater and a window. It's tiny, there is no bathroom. I just sink down onto the bed. Ooh, it's soft. Hopefully it'll be pretty comfy. I guess I'll know after I've gone to sleep tonight. I hardly slept last night, so I should sleep well tonight. So yeah, it's bare bone, but I consider yeah, glamping is okay because usually if you pay for something glamping, you're gonna be paying a couple hundred bucks a night, like for a yurt or something. So, hundred bucks for a room and access to the pools, and supposedly an hour at the private pool, but it's a pretty good deal, I think. Although if I ever come here again, honestly, I'll just sleep in my car. You can pitch a tent, you can bring an RV. There are hookup and non-hookup sites, so there's all kinds of ways to stay here. And it is the cheapest of all the hot springs in Tacopa, aside from the free pool that you can go to the public one that's just an actual natural outside hot spring. But there are little signs about little biting insects. And I like not to be nude in front of both sexes. It's just, I'm old fashioned, I guess. Although I will say this, I kind of was reluctant to go into the women's bathhouse, but honestly, nobody cares. They don't care if you're fat, thin, old, young, ugly, beautiful, nobody cares. So I got over that hump, had a lovely soak. First you go into the hot mineral shower and shower off and make sure you're clean before you go in the pools. And it was lovely. The women and men have separate bathhouses and then there's two pools in the bathhouse. One's a little warmer than the other. I went into the hotter one, I didn't go into the cooler one. So across the street you can see there's RVs. And then across the street, you can't see it, is where the car camping area is. And I'm not sure, but I think this section here might also belong to this campground. Those might be long-term people. I love that one um, hot pink trailer that says Happy Nut on it. Ah, meant to go the other direction. It's pretty cute. And it's not too far from Vegas. Couple hour drive both in both directions, so it could be a day trip. It's possible people even day trip out of L.A. Um, so today has been kind of crazy busy according there was one guy on duty the only one working super nice guy he had to come and make up my room because somebody else didn't do it and he's on duty alone today but he is very nice and so far i'm quite happy with this place so today i'm going to kick back i'm going to go inside later and crochet i'll probably go back one more time have another soak and just relax after that week of car camping I'm having a little snack. I bought a bag of frozen smoothie fruit from Walmart. It's a single serving and it's pure fruit and, and vitamin, no sugar added. So I was able to add some water and use my USB blender. I had just enough power. I'm going to have to charge that puppy up, but I had just enough power to blend it. So a nice, refreshing, healthy snack after a few days of not eating super healthy. One thing to remember, if you do come to Tacopa, there's virtually no internet service here. So this is a place to come, be off grid and relax. Unless you have Starlink and then you can, you know, point your dish up there and have your internet. But otherwise, don't expect much internet. 
I had like a, have a bar or something earlier, but generally there's no service. There might be some down the street at the library. I'm not quite sure. I think there's a tiny branch library. This is Inyo County, California. And the nearest major town is Pahrump. Wow, I feel like rubber. I just had my time in the private pool. You're allowed an hour, but obviously you can't sit in hot water that long. So 10 minutes in, 10, 15 minutes out. I went in twice and then I was done. Even though I didn't use the full hour. I didn't take my camera in there. I probably should have. I mean, it's just, it's a little rundown, but they're piping fresh hot water in there and that's all that really matters. That lovely mineral water. So if you're ever in Tacopa, remember you can also by day use passes here or at the resorts. This is probably the cheapest option outside of the free one with the potential of little mites of some kind. So I'm gonna crash for a while and then figure out dinner. I've got my Blue Eddy. I might dig my rice cooker out. I bought a frozen vegetarian lasagna I think I'm gonna cook up outside. You're really not supposed to cook in the rooms. I could also do it on the camp stove, but I think the rice cooker will be easy and I can charge my Blue Eddy while I drive tomorrow. Or I can just put my panel out early before checkout time, but then I'd have to drag it in and drag it back out. I think it's easier just to charge when I drive. Anyway, I will see you in the morning. Good morning from Tacopa Hot Springs. I really enjoyed my night in the tiny rustic glamping cabin, in quotes. The baths were nice. Nice, soothing hot water. And I did get my hour in the private tub. I didn't film in there. Um, nothing really to say it is. I mean, come on, this is a county campground, although it's run by a concessionaire. It's old. It's a little run down. It's in the middle of the desert. It's 11 miles from Death Valley. But they keep it clean as, you know, I guess as clean as they're required to. And the people here are nice. And I just really enjoyed my stay. So if you're ever passing through, you're in the Death Valley area, go ahead and check out Tacopa Hot Springs. Other things to see in the area, there's some dunes, I think. And then China Date Ranch is not far away. It all makes a great day trip or an overnight camping trip from Las Vegas. Let me add one thing, though. So... I used my sleeping bag last night as a blanket. They put the covers on the bed and there is a very large space heater. I don't feel comfortable sleeping with a space heater on at night. And that thin little bedspread didn't look like it was going to keep me warm. So I just laid on top of their bedspread and used my sleeping bag. But I'm sure if I asked there probably would have been more blankets. Right. So I really enjoyed my night in the cabin. And then I thought about what I was going to do tonight. You know, probably drive back to Pahrump and have to find somewhere to stay or even drive towards Las Vegas. I thought about going back to Poverty Flats slash Snowbird Mesa. Then I thought, you know what? It's like 22 bucks to stay here. I'm just gonna stay here one more day, just relax, do some soaks and just chill and not have another driving day until tomorrow. But I'm definitely staying in my car tonight. It's like 22 bucks versus $100 for the glamping cabin, which I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I had the room to stretch about privacy to, you know, have a little indoor space and outdoor seating space. But I am just going to stay in my car tonight like I usually do. So right now I am parked in, I guess, what is the day use area or the cabin parking area. I'm charging my solar. They're super laid back here. I asked the one guy on duty this morning if I should move, and he didn't seem to care. And he's like, eh, if they want you to, they'll tell you later. Otherwise, I could go back down over that way. There is a rather large group of men camping, totally nice older guys. Um, but I really don't want to park next to a group of 10 people. Unless they're leaving today, it's kind of hard to tell. So when you check in, you get a card, which tells you the rules. Shower first, no diving or swimming, no hair or shampoo and water, no clothing and water. It's nude bathing. And then no food or drink or smoking. Food or drink, the signs say inside the campground, attract ants and scorpions. Then the reverse side shows, you know, how many people in your party and what day you're here for and then who authorized it. All right, it's a few days later. I've long since left to go to Hot Springs, but I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share, comment, all that good stuff. If not, that's okay, and I will see you in my next video.